Hello everyone, welcome to part two of the Italy vlog. I'm coming to you guys again looking a little bit disheveled. I don't know why I keep starting my vlogs like this, but you know, this is real life. And we just got here from Italy. We stopped at a restaurant in Como on our way over here. And then we were there for like three hours because uh, Florence's soccer team was playing. So my bosses wanted to stay. <laughs> and now here I am at 12.15 looking like I fell asleep even though I've been awake for, I don't even know how many hours. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick room tour while the room is pretty pristine. We are in Switzerland right now. We're only here for the night. We're staying at a uh, hotel, Hotel de la Pa. I don't know, it's French, but I'm in Switzerland. So we're just gonna be in this hotel for one night, but I'll show you guys a room tour just for fun anyway, because I feel like everybody loves a room tour. And honestly, this hotel is like very European and it's pristine right now because I just walked in. So I'll show you guys quickly before I literally jump into my pajamas and go to bed. Okay, so it's annoying me that my coat sleeve is like half sticking out right now, but I'm at the front door. To the left, we have a little mirrored closet, lots of hangers in it, which is nice. Not that I'll be unpacking. And then to the right, we have this huge bathroom. Of course, we have to have a bidet again, but um, yeah, this is a really nice space, huge mirror. I have to get ready in the morning because I don't have time to shower and stuff right now because I'm exhausted. And then this is the big shower bath. The other thing is that in Europe, if you go to basically any hotel, I mean, this one actually has a door that closes, but usually it's just the one half of the door. So it's basically whatever part of the shower will splash down into the, into the tub. That's the only part that's covered. And then this whole outer part is not covered, but you know, we're in a really fancy hotel. So this one actually shuts like that for when it's shower time. But yeah, normally it's open, so that's kind of a nice touch. And then we have the makeup mirror again. I don't know if that's a European thing, but they've had it in the past two hotels. Then we have a nice little water bar, which I don't... Oh, okay. This answers my question. Any mini bar you go to, it's always extra, but this one says free. So these two water bottles will be coming with me, but I'm definitely going to be drinking one of these right now. Not out of the fancy glass. But um, then we have another closet here. Lots of storage considering I am not gonna be here, which is sad. Oh, and we have robes at the top. I actually might sleep in one of these because I think sleeping in a robe is one of the joys in life. And then we have, I think this is just a mirror. Yeah, this is the one I was just talking to you guys in. And then this is the bedroom. So, as I said before, it's very European. The curtains and the striped focal point wall or whatever you call it. And then the velvet cushions, very nicely done. It feels very posh in here. We have a red velvet chair, which is like, I don't know. I always think of the color red as being something dramatic, but I think it looks really nice. And yeah, the space is just really pretty. Lots of good lighting in here, just in case I was doing work, but I won't be here long enough. I don't know what this little rack is right behind the little stool right here, but I'm gonna put my suitcase on there probably, which is over here in the corner right now. Um, by the way, both of my bosses were surprised that I only brought this much stuff for 10 days. So, I mean, I was already proud of myself, but now I'm extra proud. And then there's a little seating area where there's a desk and a chair and a TV. So I am going to get dressed in my pajamas. And I'm just noticing now that these have like a striped, sheet which i think looks really expensive it's kind of like the ones i have from bed bath and beyond at home but just a little bit different and yeah i need to dive into this bed because i've been awake for so long and i feel like i'm gonna have the best sleep of my life so i will talk to you guys in the morning good morning from switzerland i am awake i'm showered i'm ready it's 7 45 so i had to get up a little bit early this morning around like 6 50 so that i could shower and blow dry my hair with the blow dryer that was on the wall like you know those ones that come in the hotel and surprisingly it was actually really effective and I you know took a little bit more than five minutes which was really nice because I was expecting for it to take 15. So I'm ready all of my stuff is packed and everything. I've literally only been here to sleep which is kind of a shame because this room as I showed you guys is gorgeous 
and I want to show you guys the view before I leave and I'm gonna head down to breakfast in like five minutes but I just wanted to quickly check in with you show you everything here because it was also pitch black last night when we came in so I honestly I didn't see anything either it was all lit up though so it was really cool to see that and now I'm gonna be able to see it in the daytime and I'll show you guys as well um there's actually a good amount of people up right now i don't know why i'm thinking that it's like 6 a.m it's literally a normal time to go to work um but i will flip you guys around and show you everything that is outside my window not that i'll really be able to give you guys any information on any of it because i'm new here but there is a lake right next to me so i'll show you guys that too okay so this is the view outside the window they actually have a lot of modern buildings which i thought was very surprising considering I'm in a hotel that's like very, I don't know how to explain it. It's very like old fashioned kind of. So like this building right here, the gray and black one, that one's like very modern and clean cut and stuff like that. And then you can kind of see like up here, these have like weird like geometric, geometric shapes. And it's strange because we're literally in the middle of the mountains and then you have like these super modern buildings. Um, a couple of other hotels are around here. And then the lake that I told you guys about just now is right you can kind of see the water right there. Um, but yeah, this is where I've been for the past mm, not even 10 hours. I think I got like six or seven hours of sleep. We got back to the hotel at around 12. And yeah, so I didn't get to see any of this, but it looks really cool. And we are going to walk to the train station to get to work this morning. So I'll be able to show you guys a little bit more exploring once we're out there. Also, I've not been drinking enough water on this trip at all whatsoever. So we will be taking... The free water and i couldn't figure out this shower for the life of me this morning because this little thing was turned to the side so the shower head was pointing there and for some reason i didn't think that it would move and then i also stepped on the draining plug there and now the tub won't drain and i tried to like push on it to see if it was one of those like retractable ones and it's not so i am sorry to whoever is going to be cleaning this room and there is water still in the tub. But yeah, this is the blow dryer I was talking about. Way more effective than I imagined. And overall, it was a really good stay here. I wish I was staying longer, honestly. And if you're ever in Switzerland, I highly recommend staying here. But, but I have to get going now because I think I'm a minute late and my boss will probably say something about it. Starbucks in this building. Lost for words. Good morning from Milano. We drove back from Switzerland yesterday, had dinner here, and I was just about to show you guys the view, but there is a little curtain here that doesn't split anywhere from what I can see. So maybe I will just show it to you through this little curtain layer here but we um met up with some of my boss one of my boss's friends for dinner because um obviously they're italian so they know people in italy <laughs> and we had a really nice dinner but we were out until like 12 30. we went to see the duomo at night which was really cool i'll insert a photo of it here so you guys could see it because i probably won't go during the day since i saw it at night and it was really beautiful so i feel like i got that in and now i have time to do some other stuff but I need to pack up really quickly. All of my stuff is right here on the chair. Again, this is another hotel that I'm just staying in for one night and you guys, it's so nice here. I wish I was staying here for the rest of the time that I'm in Milan, but I'm actually moving to a hotel that is closer to the city center so that we can, not we, cause I'll be on my own, but so that I can reach kind of like, it's, I don't know, it's kind of in the center of all the activities that I wanna do. So. Everything's like a 15 minute walk away from each other. And so it's in a really good location, especially also for the train going home because we know that I have issues with public transportation here. And I have the added step of having to stop at the vet on the way home. So it's just in a really good location and that's why I'm not staying here. It's also a little bit more expensive here um, on top of it being a little bit more out of the way, but I am going to show you guys the room anyway. I have to leave in like five minutes. So this probably isn't the smartest thing in terms of time management, but I'll just chuck all my stuff in my suitcase if I need to. This room definitely deserves to be seen. And because we're still in the beginning of the vlog, I feel like you guys think that this is just gonna be a compilation of all room tours, but 
As you guys know, I am nosy and I love watching where people stay, especially if I'm looking for suggestions for traveling in the future and things like that. So I will show you guys the room quickly. And then we are visiting one building today and that's it. So I'll have the rest of the afternoon to do work, which I'm like really behind on because most of the time we are touring facilities and things like that. So I have so many emails that I need to get to. Thank God I'll be able to work in this afternoon. And it is Friday, so technically it's the end of the work week. And as soon as the work day is over, I am free to do whatever I want. So let me flip you around quickly to show you the room and then I have to get going. Okay, so kind of the same setup as the last hotel or the first hotel I was in. So this is the front door here. Then we have the bathroom on the left with this really cool shower. It's completely open in the back, which I thought was interesting, but I don't know how that works from a functionality standpoint. Um, and then it has a really nice big waterfall faucet here and this is just like a dream honestly i love this tiling over here i think it looks really cool and then we have the vanity which i basically tried to re-roll this towel to make it look nice but it's not the same um but yeah really cool sink and then that's my stuff that i have to throw in my suitcase that's me every hotel that i've been in has this little face mirror so this one is actually really high up so i don't know how like short people can do their makeup in there, but still there. And then the toilet, and obviously I have to show you guys the bidet. <laughs> and then we'll move into the main room. So there's a lot of storage slash shelving space. If I was staying here for all three nights, I would just unpack into all of this. Oh my gosh, I didn't even open this. They have robes and a GHD hair dryer. Like what? That is insane. Could have been wearing those slippers around, but again, I wasn't really here much. And then really nice hanging space. I have a light strip up there, which I feel like is really helpful. Oh, also could have used that to put my suitcase on instead of putting it on the nice couch that I will show you guys in a second. Oh, slow closing doors, of course. So now we're moving into the main attraction. I tried to remake the bed, but obviously when I got here, it was crisp as you could ever imagine but this bed is so nice like i slept the best here that i have in all three hotels but that is probably because i went to bed really late but we're also going to attribute it to the pillows when i first got here i think i have a picture of it i'll put it in here somewhere but the pillows were so crispy and clean and i was like how do they do this like they must steam the bedding and i wish i had time to do that in my own apartment because it looks so nice so then we have these really cool lamps on the side, a nice mirror. So this is my outfit for today. I have my brunette crew neck on, jeans from Sevens, and my sneakers are beiges. Not that anybody asked. <laughs> and then we have some cool art over here. This is the TV little coffee station, and I haven't checked in here, but I think it's a mini fridge. I'm always afraid to touch that stuff because um, you always have to pay for it. And then there's a nice little working space here that I didn't get to work at with this cool lamp. This is the view that I told you guys about, but you can't really see anything. It's just a bunch of white buildings that kind of look like office buildings or hotel buildings. I don't know. And then this is where all my stuff is. <laughs> so there's this really cool like emerald green chair and it's velvet. And that's where I decided to unpack. So everything is right there. I basically have to get all of this mess back into my suitcase in about five minutes. And I will talk to you guys in the mirror over here so you can see me. But yeah, I just have to, oh, I didn't realize there's deodorant all over my sweatshirt there. And I went down to breakfast like that. So I'm just gonna shove everything in my suitcase cause I have to be downstairs and checked out by 9 a.m. and it's around 8.45. So we must get going. now Saturday I am still in the hotel I had this plan to get up super early and start walking around and doing all of everything that I can ever fit in in one day in Milan but nothing opens here early besides like the breakfast places and bakeries so I would have gone out at like 8 a.m gotten breakfast and then nothing opens until 10 30 so I wouldn't have had anything to do but it's now 9 30 I have gotten dressed made the bed and now I'm gonna head out to a little cafe. It's called Bianco Latte. And it sounds a little bit touristy, but we will see. Everything looked really good in the photos. 
So I have to test it out for myself. Um, the hotel that I'm in, it is not the best and it's not the worst. So I don't know if I'm gonna give you guys another room tour because I've already bored you with three of them, I think. And it's just like a standard like baseline hotel. So if you guys are looking for something that's not too expensive, I think it was 200 for two nights here, which to be honest, I mean, I'm not like trying to drag anybody, but I feel like that's a little bit much considering what you get here. It's kind of like a step up from a hostel. So, I mean, it's clean. I'm not really gonna be here, so it's completely fine. And honestly, I don't even care where I stay. I'm just lucky to be here right now. So that being said, I haven't really said anything um, in any of my videos yet, but I just wanted to address it because I feel like it's not something that I would normally talk about on here, but I think it's necessary. So, I mean, I know everyone's probably aware of what's going on in Ukraine right now, and it's absolutely horrible. I am praying for them every single day. And whether you guys have like really strong faith or not, I encourage you to do the same as well. I mean, it's really just unimaginable what these people are going through. So yeah, just please say a prayer if you can. And you know, just always try to be grateful because things can definitely be so much worse and people are going through that exact thing right now. So just, you know, to bring a little perspective into it. But anyway, I'm going to head out now. I just have my jacket right here. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm wearing in a second. It's 43 degrees out right now, but it's very sunny. So I'm just gonna try to stay in the sun. Not that 43 is cold, but I put on my warmer wool sweater so that I wouldn't be cold, depending. And then I'll just bundle up in my jacket if I have to. I brought a hat with me, but I feel like I'm not gonna need it at all. So I think that's the only thing in my suitcase that I didn't use. So I will take a gold star for effective packing. Okay, so on the top I have my wool sweater. This is from H&M. Honestly, really good quality. I think I've had it for three years now and it doesn't show any signs of wear. And normally wool sweaters pill and this one really hasn't. Um, my braid a watch, obviously. Well, not, not obvious, otherwise I wouldn't say it. <laughs> um, Beads by Z bracelets. I have my ring from Florence on. And then I'm wearing my leather leggings. I feel like I haven't worn leather leggings in so long, which is probably so not true because I wear them all the time. I kind of wish that I was wearing a sweater that covered like a little bit more because this one kind of hits at a weird point, but it's fine. We're just dressing warm today. And then my socks are from Princess Polly, just popping out of my Converse that I've been wearing everywhere. I brought two pairs of sneakers on this trip, one of them being these, and then I brought my Veja sneakers, which I don't want to talk about. I basically had to just put on like steel toe covers for one of the warehouses yesterday and it made them all dirty. So. I'm not gonna look at them until I get home and I'm just gonna try to clean them with Folex, but I'm wearing my Converse. These are so freaking comfortable, I can't explain to you guys. I thought that they were gonna be the most uncomfortable, like rigid, flat shoes, but there's like a cushion in them. I don't really understand it because I had a pair of regular Converse in the past, just like low top black ones um, that were not platform and they were just so uncomfortable. And that's why I never understood why people wear them to the gym. So I have these really like padded soft platform ones on and I can literally walk everywhere in them. So they're amazing. I highly recommend them. They're in stock in all sizes on the Converse website, probably because everybody else in the country or not even in the country in the world already owns them. I was just a little bit late to the party because I couldn't find them in my size or any size anywhere. So this is the outfit for today. Then I'm going to be using this bag, which I've been using all trip. Honestly, I might do a what's in my bag video with this bag because it just looks really like insignificant and small, but it fits so much stuff in it. So it's probably one of my most practical bags. Then I'm going to bring my tote bag just in case. And then this is the coat that I'll be wearing. This has been a lifesaver. My Novo London coat. I've worn this every day. It's the only one that I brought. And yeah, that's my outfit. We're going to head out to the bakery. So this is the full ensemble. I just found a pizza crumb on my jacket. That's really embarrassing and had to tell you guys about it. So I'm gonna leave now for the bakery and hopefully eat a ton of different pastries and get a little cappuccino. Hey, okay, the cappuccino has been secured and the next stop is going to be Buenos Aires, which is the shopping center because I made an appointment to go see the Last Supper painting for 6.15 p.m. because that's all they had. 
so I have to like fill the rest of the day with activities. So I'm gonna waste a little bit of time shopping, possibly go into some vintage stores, but they're pretty far away compared to where I'm going right now. So I'll see if I wanna either take the metro or taxi. Oh wow, that's good. The people in this cafe definitely knew that I was American because I asked, I ordered in Italian and she goes, take away? I'm like, <laughs> yep, I'm taking it away because I'm going shopping. But yeah, so I'm gonna walk there now. It's about 20 minutes, so it shouldn't be too bad. And I'll try to find something to eat on the way because I don't know why. Whenever my cover is blown as being American, I always just wanna like run straight out of wherever I am. So I'm gonna try to find a little donut or something somewhere else. Wasn't expecting this at all, but I'm back in the room because I couldn't even carry this stuff anymore. And I also need to try every single thing on because this is my suitcase right now. As you can see, it is overflowing. I don't know where I think I'm putting all of this, but it's just, I don't even know. So I'm going to try and strategically pack all of this as if I'm literally leaving right now so that I can see if I even have room at all. But the problem is that all of this stuff, like it's cheaper in euros. And with the, like I looked up the sweater, for example, on Mango and it's $60 on the website and it's 40 euro, which comes out to 42 euro, uh, $42. So everything is like 30% off of what it would normally be. And that's why I went to Zara and did all of this, but I only got the stuff that I really wanted. So there's like four things from Zara. Um, I went to H&M, that was a mistake. And then went to Mango and popped in quickly and saw the sweater because this actually looks like an and other stories one that I wanted to get, but that one's 99. This one was 42. Also in Zara, they have these, I don't know if they have this in the US yet, but they have these reusable bags. You pay, so this was four euro for the larger one. And then there's another one that's three euro. And basically it like unfolds. There's like a pocket in here somewhere. But it unfolds so that you can use a reusable bag instead of the bags that they have. So I figured I would get it because I use them so much in the city. But it's, you know, Zara is not doing anything right when it comes to the environment. But this is a step in the right direction. So I decided to contribute to that since I was saving 30% on all the clothes. And yeah, okay. So what I need to do now is to take everything out of here. I also have this big duffel bag and this is what I put under my seat on the plane but I should be able to put that on the overhead bin too just in case I have to so this will be stuffed as well and then the boots that I got I wore my Converse on the way here but I will wear the boots on the way home so that I don't have to pack them but yeah I don't know how this is gonna happen I just really don't Okay, did some returns so that we could possibly fit everything and now I'm walking to the Duomo. It's so pretty down here. The sun's about to set in a little bit so maybe I'll catch up with the sunset but just on the phone with my mom and the walk is only about 20 minutes. So it's perfect, it's not too cold out and I should be there soon. Yeah. 
Calma, ci vuole anche la carriera di Cristante dentro? No, no, alla prossima, salutami la sorella della tipa, eh. Sono Vai. Ciao. Vai. Ciao. Hi everybody, I'm sure you can tell that I am back in my hotel room. I just had to take my COVID test for my trip tomorrow and it was negative, so that's great. One less thing to worry about, but I had such a hard time setting up the account because I entered in like my first and last name, but on my ID, it has my middle initial, but there was no line for my middle initial when I was signing up and I couldn't figure out how to change the account. So I was getting so frustrated and then I ended up just making a new one. So that is dealt with and then i went on to trenitalia which is like the website you normally buy your tickets from and it said that there were no trains until 16:22, which is 4 p.m and my flight's at 12. so i was like oh this is great but i ended up being able to find a ticket on a different vendor so um yeah everything all my ducks are in a row i had a bit of a rough time earlier today because as you guys know, I was walking to the Duomo. I saw that there was some sort of festival going on and there was confetti everywhere and some people were dressed in Halloween costumes. <laughs> so I don't know what was going on, but it was really pretty. I love to see it. And I'm glad I went during the day too, because I did see it at night, but I feel like it was a whole different experience seeing it during the day. I would have wanted to go inside, but the line was wrapped around the building. And I had to get to my appointment at 6.15 to go see The Last Supper. And that was about a 20 minute walk away from the Duomo. So I walked the 20 extra minutes, get there. And I go to the tour guide and she doesn't find my name on the list. And I'm showing her the email confirmation from my ticket. And she's like, yeah, you're not on here. So you can't come in. I was like, I have like a full on printable ticket here like how is this possible and she's like well you have to call the company I'm not like I'm not part of the company I'm just the tour guide I'm like okay so I call the company he's like yeah no um I don't know why but uh I can put in a request for a refund I was like I just walked 40 minutes down here to go and see the last supper and mind you like I know that Milan is known for shopping and stuff but I didn't come here to just like go to Zara. Obviously I was happy doing that. I went to other stores and ended up like enjoying my morning and had such a nice time. But then I wanted to like use the other half of the day to go and like do sightseeing or like see art or something. And this guy's telling me like, oh, sorry. And I was like, okay. And I got so frustrated. That's why I didn't vlog any of it because I was like, I, would have been in such a mood when I talked to you guys and we're trying to keep the vibes positive here. So I basically called them twice. I had someone else call me and just explain to me over and over again that the tickets close at 12 a.m. the night or the day of, I guess. And I booked in the morning and it shouldn't have allowed me to book in the morning. Well, they said that they closed it and that it allowed me to book. And I was like, well, if you closed it, it shouldn't let me book. And they were just like, yeah, no, usually this is what happens. And I'm like, you told me. Anyway, so I ended up walking and I was like, you know what? And I talked to my mom and she was like, something good will come out of it. And I was like, well, I only have like three hours left here. So I don't really know what else could happen at this point. <laughs> but I remembered that there is a panini place in Florence and they have a location in Milan. And I like stumbled upon it when I was looking at different locations for um, finding which hotel I should stay at and so I was like let me just see how far away Antico's is and it was like 0.3 miles when I was gonna have to walk for well I don't even know like I think it ends up being two miles so I was like okay I'll just stop and eat dinner there so I ended up stopping at Antico's I got myself a panini I got prosciutto um truffle cream so it's like black truffle and it's like a I don't know it's kind of like a sauce and it had Parmesan cheese, I think, on it. 
and it was so good and I sat on the steps of this really old church to eat it and it was just like honestly I like things like that it just feels a lot more authentic than eating in a restaurant even though I mean the restaurant's food is authentic too but um yeah it was just a really nice night and then I walked a little bit to the taxi station and then I got a taxi the rest of the way so now I'm here and I'm getting pretty tired, <laughs> which is so sad because it's 9.10, but I think I did like 19,000 steps today. So I think that's why I'm a little bit run down, but I need to still pack because I went back to Zara and I had to exchange one thing and then I returned one thing. So I need to fit that somewhere in my luggage. And now that I have like only my toiletries out and my outfit for tomorrow. Now I can put like my shoes that I was wearing today and my suitcase and all that stuff so that I can like really, you know, figure this out before I have to leave tomorrow because my train is at 8.25 in the morning. And so I'm probably gonna have to leave here at around like 7.45. I should say 7.30 just so that I'll be on time. But um, I just have to like tie up a bunch of loose ends and make sure that I have everything. But I do want to show you guys everything that I got from today. I just don't know if I'll show you now or maybe in a separate vlog. I could honestly probably make a haul out of the things that I got from just Zara, H&M, and Mango. So I might do that once I get home because a lot of the stuff is available in the U.S. Because I was looking at it online. But because it was cheaper here, I decided to buy it here. Just, you know, to give myself a headache getting home and having to bring all of this heavy luggage. But anyway, I feel like this part of the vlog, um, as opposed to part one, was a little bit more sightseeing and it was a lot more Italian, if you will. So I'm glad that this one was like a little bit of a different feel than the other one that I had. I'm just going to be traveling back tomorrow. I'm actually super excited to just get on the plane and sleep. I know I'm not supposed to sleep on my way home because with the time change and everything, I'm supposed to stay awake through the flight. And then when I get home at 3 p.m., I am supposed to stay up till bedtime. So I'm going to try. And I feel like it won't be hard once I get home because I'm probably going to have to like, not have to, but I will tell everyone about my trip. And I feel like that's going to make me stay awake. And that's my plan anyway. So fingers crossed. I'm actually pretty good at like, not being jet lagged. I know that's a really weird compliment to give myself, <laughs> but like on the way here, I was totally fine. And I think on the way back is supposed to be harder, but I feel, I don't know. I feel like as long as I stay awake throughout the day, I should be completely fine, but I don't know. I don't believe in like superstition and stuff, but maybe I'm jinxing it, who knows. But yeah, um, everyone pray for me that I don't ride the train back and forth to and from the airport and the train station because I actually cannot do that this time. I have to go to the VAT when I get in the airport. So I just can't waste any time. I can't miss the train. I can't, you know, go for a joy ride. This is like serious business. I've had so many issues with public transportation since I've been here and it just like needs to stop. So wish me luck. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog so much and I can't even explain to you guys how excited I am and how happy I am that I get to experience this with you guys and that I can share all of this experience with you because I know that these past two years with traveling has been so relentless and the processes and everything you have to go through in order to travel is insane. I mean, rightfully so we're in a pandemic, but my intention for this video is to just give everybody some hope and I am praying for you guys and hopefully you guys will be able to travel sometime soon or wherever you've been wanting to go. I know I specifically have been saving up over the past two years because I haven't been able to travel. So if anyone else is in the same boat, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. So anyway, okay, that just got super cheesy. So I will leave you guys here. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for your support. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next one.